Hey there, everybody. It's That Forgotten Guy here, and welcome back to Subnautica. We have our Seamoth back. We have all of our stuff, minus 90% of the medkits I had. I have one left. <clears throat> um, that was not fun. I did manage to get a scan of the crab squid while I was down here, and fuck that guy. I'm never going back down there with the Seamoth alone. Hey, what's this? What is that? Oh, I hate that that thing's right there. Nuclear reactor. Fuck yeah. Okay, that's useful. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. More debris down here. Buddy, I'm not after you, you just... <gasps> I swear to god, this feels like the place where I found the reactor the first time I played the game. Just a sneaking suspicion. Like I've seen this before. Like somewhere here. Maybe further down. Maybe right there. This is it. This is what I found before. And it contained the nuclear reactor. Although it doesn't probably contain it this time. It does contain this data chip and whatever that thing on my right is. Cool. Titanium. What's this? The nuclear reactor. Okay. Cool. That helps. I have the torpedo arm. But I'll get some free titanium out of this. So, long story short, it was a hard-fought fucking battle to get my goddamn Seamoth back. And I'm not happy about how difficult that was. I'm glad I fixed my- or I batteried up my repair tool, though, because my Seamoth was not healthy when I got to it. That might have been in the last episode, actually. I don't remember. It only had 55% health left, even though I know it had more than that when I got there. Or at least I'm pretty sure it did. I think I can get inside this, but I don't see a door. So unless the- oh. I found the door. It's a gaping hole in the wall. What's this? More reactor. I mean, I guess I'll scan it for the titanium. This door goes fucking nowhere and is destroyed. That's a vent. This goes to a few other places, like door that I can't open and more free titanium getting awfully full on fucking titanium oh shit composite plant pot 30 seconds blueprint acquired I best get back to me fucking seamoth Oh yeah, and my battery in my fucking sea glide is dead now from my bullshit attempts to get back here. So thank fuck I don't have to do it again. Lots of prawn suit torpedo arms. Did that say Cyclops? Cyclops sonar. Oh, thank fuck. 
I was worried I wouldn't be able to find that this run. I don't even have a fucking Cyclops yet, and I've got the sonar for it. Cool shit. Except for the part where there was a door in here that I have to laser cutter, and my laser cutter doesn't have a battery. Oh, it does have a battery. Cool. Let's laser cutter this fucking door. Didn't see the sparking cable. What's this? More fucking nuclear. Jesus Christ. If I needed a nuclear reactor, I could have got it four times over in this fucking thing. Why did I come into this vent? What am I fucking stupid? Oh, I could have bypassed the door. Okay. I'll go back in there and explore that vent a little bit. Because it did go further. I just don't have enough air to do it in one shot without dying. And I refuse to have to dive for my fucking seat. Whoa. Where's this going? Um, fucking nowhere? Question mark? What the fuck? What's the point of that? I mean, other than to waste me fucking oxygen. So then if I go in here, there was uh, this vent. And it went this way, and then this way, and then that, whoa, I think I've been in here already. I have. Well. This is less fun than I wanted it to be. To that end, I did find another wreck in the end of the last episode. Where the fuck am I? What's fucking happening? What am I, stupid? In the last episode, when I tried the first time to get my Seamoth back, I discovered a wreck literally up here. It was above ground, and it was this way, I believe. Of course, I'm never going to be able to find it in the dark. Last time I found it, it was fucking the only goddamn thing I could find. Now I'll never find it, because it's dark. And I do want to be careful, because I don't know if I'm in the dunes or not. I worry that I might be. Is one of the super amazingly healthy uh, peepers and a sand shark apparently.
Yeah, so I found that wreck before. And the other one's literally right here somewhere. Like, I just didn't see it, I guess. I never got close enough to spot it. This one. I don't know if this is a dune wreck. I mean, it's pretty fucking sketchy, whatever it is. What is that? Nuclear reactor. Welcome aboard, Captain. That warper can piss off. It's gotta be a way into this fucking thing. Ah, that door right there. Cyclops bridge fragment. I have the Cyclops bridge. I need Cyclops hull fragments right now. Like that one. Well, we might actually be making some progress towards the Cyclops. Because if there's one more hull fragment, we could build a Cyclops in this episode. Try to cut through this before I have to go back for air. Once this is once we have the Cyclops, we're ready to go. We can start working our way down to the end of the game. Data chip. Cyclops shield generator. Cyclops bridge fragment. I assume this is too. Yep. A fucking prawn suit. I have the prawn suit, right? Yep. Alright, well, let's get out of here before I run out of air. There was other ways to go. I think it was a door I had to cut somewhere. Well, let me get some air, then we'll fuck around. I'm not stupid enough to force my bronze or my uh, sea moth through that space. Oh yeah, this was it here. data chip. Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. Apparently this is where I'm supposed to be getting stuff for the Cyclops. It's the two wrecks that I just recently discovered here. Fuck you, Warper. This looks like Cyclops hull. It is. Warper, I will not put up with your shit. That's right, the battery's fucking dead. I will cut you, motherfucker. I don't have time for you. Nor, for that matter, patience. Actually, once I get to my Seamoth here, I'm gonna use a med kit. If I have one. Which I do. Thank you, thank you fuck. Drink some piss. Drink some more piss, because I had two in limbo. just check this other room I had to cut into really thoroughly here because it was a big ass fucking room. Oh, there was a fucking hull fragment right there, but I didn't know that's what it was. I thought it was just part of the Aurora bullshit. Oh, this, I want that battery.
So I think we're ready to build a Cyclops. I'll check before we leave. And we have all the Cyclops blueprints. Down, not up. I fucked up. Jeez, it's gonna be expensive though. Three plasteel, three enameled glass, a lubricant and advanced wiring kit, and three lead. Did I get this already? It's a data packet. Yeah, it's open. Oops. Now let's get the fuck out of here before I discover this is the dunes and it contains Reaper Leviathans, shall we? <laughs> There's another piece of the bridge for the Cyclops. Awesome. So we're finally making real goddamn progress. It's just taking a long time. It's just taking us a long time to get to this point. Now. Because we have the ultimate deep sea sea moth, we can hopefully more easily get the supplies we need to get the Cyclops happening. I don't know what the Cyclops' base depth is for diving. I feel like it's 200 meters, but I'm... No, it's got to be more than 200 meters. That's the same as the sea moth. Could be 500. I don't think it's any further than that. The prawn suit's default is 900, but it's like basically a deep sea pressure exosuit. Like, that's what it's for. Get a free battery charge. Awesome. I'm stuck. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. I need glass. I need glass to make enameled glass. And I need titanium ingots to make plasteel ingots. Otherwise, this is going fucking swimmingly, no pun intended. I don't have enough titanium to make more than one of these. There's no way. They're too expensive in this game. What does it think I can make electronically? Ah, it's telling me I can make uranium uh, reactor rods now. Now, somewhere here, I... Oh, I don't have it anymore. I must have dropped it somewhere. I had a lubricant somewhere. So the advanced wiring kit is going to require a computer chip. It's going to require lead, I believe. Two lead, didn't it? What did it say? Three lead. Luckily, I have three lead. Um, three enameled glass, three advanced wiring kits. I don't have enough enamel to make three enameled glass. I can make one. Then I have to go get two more stalker teeth. And then plasteel ingots I can't make any, right? Because they require two lithium each? Jesus fucking Christ. And I have zero. I have nickel. <laughs> I've got some nickel. Uh, I don't need my reactor rods for the time being because I don't have a reactor to jam them in. 
How's this fucking biomass reactor doing? So it loses uh, one more of those. I could put a marble melon in it. Why not? Still don't understand why that works half the time. Everything has a battery now, right? Oh, Habitat Builder. You should have a fresh battery finally. Do I have one more fresh battery? I do. Who's got the lowest power? flashlight. I technically don't have enough batteries to have that thing always have batteries in it. I got a power cell, but I can't shove that in this thing. All right. So I guess what I need to do is, first things first, uh, hold on, I replanted this, yeah. First things first, I don't remember, I think you make the Mark 1 on board the Cyclops itself. Exosuit upgrades. There's only one, and it's fucking Kyanite. I believe we need to hop in the Seamoth. Oh, there's no animation for that ladder. Cool. Uh, we need to hop in the Seamoth and go try to get some more enamel for the enamel class. All systems online. So apparently that thing does not repair the Seamoth. It only charges it. But it charges it pretty fast. Although I think the biomass reactor takes a pretty heavy hit when I am charging the Seamoth. We just need to find some stalkers and coax them into biting my Seamoth. Gossy Habitat should be an objective later as well in the episode. Maybe on the way back, I'll swing by. I The problem, the reason I don't want to swing by is the simple fact that it's that fucking whole area is just fucking crawling with crab squids. And there's such a problem for my small ass sea, small ass sea moth. Like, they'll just toast it. Jesus, we're still in the fucking Grand Reef. Just need to get to the creep vine forest, because that's where the stalkers are. Hey, look, creep vine. Fucking where the wild things are. Where them fucking stalkers at? I need to find one and coerce it into biting my fucking sea moth. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Um, thanks.
Now I can't even find them. But they weren't dropping any uh, stalker teeth, so I gotta keep poking around. Hi there. Got any stalker teeth? Me too. She took Detected damage. Increased foreign bacteria levels in the water. Performing a self scan is advised. Yep, still infected. Funny how that works, isn't it? Not piss myself. <laughs> I was so shocked by the fact that I was still, in fact, infected. I see stalker teeth everywhere. Hi, buddy. I'm so glad that you're fucking clearly losing teeth like it's your goddamn job. Because you know what? I actually don't want to steal your fucking titanium. I mean, I do. But you're doing a good job of knocking your own teeth out. So I want to leave a pile there for you to knock your fucking teeth out. However, I do also still need titanium. So I'm going to go rob Jeff over here. Don't molest my Seamoth. He doesn't want any. Alright, an old glass first. Then we'll come back to this region to get some more titanium. And a creep vine seed cluster. And then all I need is some copper for a computer chip to make an advanced wiring kit. We're gonna have a Cyclops. God damn it, by the end of this episode. I mean, this episode's over in like half an hour. <laughs> it's only half done. gave up surprisingly easily. I think because the Seamoth is quite fast, it's hard for the Ghost Leviathan to keep up with. I was getting ready to fucking maneuver, though. I was going to pull the shit I tried to pull in uh, below zero, where I back up and turn and then try to gun it past whatever's chasing me to make it turn around. Because turning is not enemy's strong suit in this game. If you force them to turn around nine times out of ten, they can't make the corner.
love how laggy the fucking moon pool is still. It's not like my system's a bad system. It should be running fine. It's just fucking a little broken sometimes. Alright. First, titanium. Then two more enameled glass. The rest of those get to go in there. Drink some piss. Awesome. I don't have a wiring kit. Fuck. This just got so much more fucking complicated. Okay, but I have enough enamel glass and enough lubricant to get the job done. I thought that was drifting. Uh, I'm short titanium, so I can't make glass deal. Even if I could, I don't have lithium. I have glass. Let's extend the tube. Even though I potentially have to immediately unextend the tube if it starts to fucking leak. Two point two. We lose two point six every time I extend a tube. So I can't do another one without reinforcing first. So we need a source of lithium, and I don't actually have a fucking clue where I can easily get lithium. I know where I can find some. I can actually find some not too far away from here, really. All systems online. I can make my way towards the Degasi habitat, stay above it, obviously, and shoot off into the, uh, the sparse reef. I believe there's lithium naturally occurring in the sparse reef. I just don't remember. I need at least six. No less than six. I would like to fill the rest of my slots with, um, with lithium if I could. Which would be 24. No. It'd be 12. <laughs> well, where the fuck did I do that math? And from now on, coming across the area here, I need to be a lot more careful of that ghost leviathan. I need to hang about 150 meters while I'm over the Grand Reef until I get to base. This looks like Sparse Reef. Let's see if we can't find some naturally occurring lithium somewhere. I swear to God, I've seen lithium here in the Sparse Reef on the walls. It's just going to take a little bit of nosing around. Pod 19. What's your story? 
Oh, you died? Sounds pretty much like PDA par for the course. Data. Doors fucked. Um. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Cool. Um. Integrating new PDA data. Cool. Found lithium finally. Not in super large quantity. Well, I guess in super large quantities, actually. <gasps> no, 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 no. You fuck right off, tiger plant. I hate you. It shoots fucking needles, if you're wondering why I hate it. I don't know why I'm free swimming when I have a fucking sea moth with me, but whatever. I'm, like, probing the way forward, basically. I mean, there's no reason to do that, because it's basically just fucking asking to die. Hello, Reginald. Come here, you little bitch. I'm gonna scan ya. I've already scanned ya. New Come here. Discovered. This is lithium, but I don't have a prawn suit with a drill, so I can't do fuck all with it. And I don't think I want to try to scan one of these, but maybe I do. 30 seconds. I mean, it's possible I can... If I can get just close enough to reach over this not get shot by it. Okay, hold on. Let me get air. Oxygen. Let's try to get a scan of that thing so I can I can know a little more about it. I don't think I've ever managed to scan one of these fucking things, to be honest. They're kind of dick bags. And probably not worth the fucking effort to scan, really. I don't think it can shoot them. Ow, it can. Aha, tiger plant. I only knew they were called the tiger plant from the wiki. <laughs> I believe I typed in shooty vine or something and it came up like Subnautica shooting vine and tiger plant came up and it just happened to be the right thing. And I was like, oh, fuck those things. It, they're not very strong. Like, they don't do a lot of damage, but they're fucking annoying, and you encounter them in some weird places every once in a while, where they're quite inconvenient to deal with. This looks like thermal reactor debris. Egg. Another huge lithium deposit I can't touch. on the walls. Let's head down further. Some really fun uh, peepers. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so something I always forget about these. I've encountered one of these before. Every once in a while, a peeper gets too close and gets pulled right down in. And every once in a while, one of those enzyme peepers comes out the other end. Although that's also rare. Basically, there's there's peeper exchange happening. Like, they do it deliberately. They swim right into it. And then they come out enzymed. And long story short, these pipes are taking them to... He's taking the peepers down to the Sea Emperor Leviathan, basically. In, like, the containment that's way down there. So they're getting, uh, like, treated with enzyme 42, and then coming back out, and releasing it, and then they get eaten, which is keeping other things from getting, uh, like, it's helping, it basically, those fucking peepers going in and out of that tube all the time, is helping slow the spread of the Karar bacterium.
So I can get lithium out of these gray, dark gray ones. Which works. I'm still short silver, but I don't have, I need sandstone and silver. right there so I'll actually drink another bag of piss just to get it in my butt. what the fuck? it looked like the enzyme trail on like a paper but it was going fucking ballistic so I've got lots of fucking that that's really fucking natural me too game me too What I need to do is just occasionally check these uh, silver deposits. Or these uh, sandstone. There's silver, of course. Uh, drink a bottle of water, even though I'm technically wasting it. Alright, now I just need to get back to my base. We've got, I think, everything we need. cross the sparse reef we can cross the grand reef dive down to the base and have everything we need in theory to build the cyclops submarine then it's just a matter of upgrading the damn thing and the upgrades won't take long but I'll have to make a prawn suit which is gonna suck My inventory is full. I didn't have enough slots for my fucking bag of piss. This seems like a bad. Any lithium I have left over I'll make sure I don't need for like a prawn suit and then I will use to reinforce the base and extend the glass tube because the glass tube is still the ultimate goal but for now the base is looking good this is working out Oh yeah, I have a fish on me, that's right. I could've just let the fish go. Oh, this is wrong. I could've let that fish go instead of wasting water, but I guess he's just gonna get eight. Um. Thank you, bag of piss, for inconveniencing me about eating a damn fish. Class deal. I don't have enough titanium to make any more plasteel, of course. I do have enough something to make a wiring kit to make an advanced wiring kit. Oh yeah, copper. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Um, How much does the reinforcement? It costs one lithium and three titanium. I'm doing it. Cool. My hull strength increased, which means now I can go over here with the last two glass that I have that isn't uh, bullshit glass. 
I can extend the tube. Then I can stand here for a second and see if I can get them to spawn. Warning, entering ecological death zone. Adding report to data bank. Okay, so we're in the ecological dead zone. Let's read the data bank stuff. They're so fucking massive, the big ones. Like, holy shit. So we've almost got what we wanted. I may extend the tube a little further, but. Uh, not indigenous life forms. Geological data, I guess? Yeah, crater edge. Geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. This data is consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a 2 km by 2 km volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since an eruption uh, reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench surrounding the, surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. Also, I meant to read this many, 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 many episodes ago. Um, I have to find it. The Mesmer. The Mesmer has the coolest fucking description in this goddamn game. It is a small... Here, I'll scroll up. You don't just pretend you didn't see anything. It is a small, carnivorous life form uh, with a unique hunting mechanism. Uh, that enables it to hypnotize foes, which is kind of cool. That's when it's, like, wings are open or whatever. And that's its fucking horrible nightmare mouth that, like, shoots out. Uh, outer wings, the mesmer swims using a number of wings, which can be angled up and forwards on approaching its prey. Tiny lenses on the surface can be tilted independently to create mesmerizing patterns, which flood the victim's brain with enticing me messages interpreted in whatever form is most convincing by the target. And then where it gets creepy is the outer shell, because it says, The Mesmer can open the jaw-like recess in its protective outer shell in order to error 463, share its beauty, do not resist, assessment, draw closer. When this thing actually has the player hypnotized, you get all kinds of garbage message messages and just garbly goop from the fucking PDA voice. And it is the coolest fucking thing ever. Because it is a nightmarish enemy. And I meant to share that when we first encountered them in the bulb zone, and then I never got around to it, because I'm a stupid ass. This fire suppression system, by the way, is... How the fuck does sulfur suppress a fire? Wouldn't that make it worse? You know what? I'm just not going to question it. Crystalline sulfur is relatively easy to get but I have to get down pretty far. Aerogel is less easy to get. I believe Aerogel is... Yeah, a gel sack and a ruby. Something tells me I'm not going to have a problem when it comes to rubies. <laughs> Actually, let's see if we can make any Aerogel. We can make two. I don't know what purpose it'll serve, but fuck it, I might as well have it around. Takes up less room. I think I might need it for the prawn suit, so. Don't need this diamond, though. Um, what else don't I need? I don't need one of these leads. I only need three. Correct? Correct game? I only need three lead for the Cyclops, not four. Yeah. Alright, let's go get some more... Um, Some more titanium and lubricant and stuff. All systems online. I don't like that all systems online voice that they stole from the Neptune Escape Rocket. I wish they just used the regular goddamn voice and left that one on the Neptune Escape Rocket only. 
but, uh, I mean, I guess in the end it doesn't fucking matter, but, I don't know, it makes me grumpled. So I can take three things, I'm gonna take, uh, I have four titanium, two more would get me ex an additional eight, which gets me to twelve, but I need fucking twenty. Three doesn't get me there either. Three only gets me to sixteen. I would need four titanium uh, blobs, which I can't technically hold. So what I'm going to do is get two titanium blobs and a creep vine seed cluster, and then the next trip I'll get another, another two titanium blobs and the two copper I need for the advance to finish the advanced wiring kit. Sorry, I felt like breaching for some reason just there. It's fun. Hoping to get a lot more videos done and released over the next little while. It's not like I have anywhere I need to be at this point, so I got all kinds of time on my hands all of a sudden. So why not? I mean, not all of a sudden. It's been that way for a little while now, but hey. Gotta love COVID-19. It's fun. I need one of these. I mean inventory full. I don't want two. Wait a minute. Hmm. Oh, I pissed myself, that's why. Some of these stalkers don't actually have any titanium because I stole it already. Stalker, if you cause me problems, I will lead you into those drooping stingers down there and fucking kill you dead. Why was that? It's dreaming stingers that are giving off the light. Okay. There's a titanium. I need this titanium. Oh, it was two. It is two. Sorry, I'm stealing your titanium. You can go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Thank you. Little bitch. <laughs> Just giving the stalker shit. It's fun, right? All right, here we go again. Back to the, <laughs> back to smoking a fish to death. Uh, back to the main base. We will make another titanium ingot. And then, I mean, technically I could probably make one more trip, get the stuff I need and come back. The problem is the copper, because the copper is a little shit, and I can't just grab it easily. I gotta fucking hunt around. However, virtually everything else is relatively straightforward. So... So yeah, perhaps it's just a matter of sorting out, um, sorting out where I can find copper more easily. I mean, if I had a prawn suit, I keep saying this, but if I had a prawn suit, I could just use the giant copper vein that's literally fucking 10 feet outside the base. I'm too far down. I need to stop being this far down because it's called living fucking dangerously because that goddamn Shadow Leviathan, or Shadow Leviathan. Not hard to tell, uh, I have also been playing Subnautica Below Zero, although I haven't actually encountered a Shadow Leviathan. I don't even think they're in the game yet, to be honest. It is still early access, technically. They're planning to redo the story in, the, like, this year, so... 
that's kind of going to act as a threat. Apparently, they're planning to do it fairly soon. But, I, they haven't done it yet. But I haven't actually seen a Shadow Leviathan. I'm kind of starting to wonder if they're even in the game. I was really looking forward to them. They're the coolest fucking concept art I've ever seen. I mean, they're they're absolutely horrifying. And I really do hope they appear... I, I suspect I know what they're for. They are... What the hell? How did I end up out of my sub? And what hurt me? What the fuck? Aggressive Plasteel. Now I've got two Plasteel. I need three. I don't have enough Titanium for that, though. But I could pick up three more Titanium and the two Copper, so let's go do that. Fuck it. The episode technically is supposed to end soon, but I'm going to go over a little bit this time around. Online. I bumped my volume button. I don't need anything from sandstone. I mean, sandstone has a chance for titanium, but it's low. I need copper out of these though. But I can take titanium because I need titanium anyway. There's a copper. I just need one more. Who's that? Ah, I thought I saw another outcrop. Alright, well that's fine. Let's keep looking for limestone. Being decently cautious, just in case there's a fucking ghost leviathan out here somewhere. Hey, there's debris down here. Actually, that looks like a data packet. Hello, data packet. Do you contain anything fun? Tech already known. I didn't read what it was. Uh, that's fine. It gave me some titanium, so... Oh, there's an actual wreck here. God damn. I mean, I'm not sure there's all that much left for me to find. I pissed myself about that wreck being there. I like it when I can just open the door. That's convenient. I don't have to fucking cut the damn thing open. <laughs> fucking spoke too soon. I mean, I can open this door. That's fun. Uh, I found something. Found an office chair. Fuck yeah. Make me a fucking office somewhere. Hmm. 
Um, I could cut that door, but I really don't feel like there's going to be anything in here I don't already have at this point. I pretty much have every fucking blueprint there is to have. Like, I've actually gotten really lucky in the last couple episodes. Welcome aboard, Captain. Because I've recorded, like, what, five or six episodes? In the last little, like, in this last shot. And basically every single one of them I've had, I've discovered some new blueprint or I've made some, some kind of solid progress. Which, thank fuck, has actually benefited me. I mean, it's unfortunate that it took until now to be making decent, steady progress, but hey. Cool, I have the copper I need. I need two more loose titanium plus a uh, block of titanium there. be easier to just try to get the last of the titanium I need here. Calorie intake recommended. Ah, shit. Fuck it. We're gonna go and get the last of the stuff we need, and then in the next episode... Well, I'll do it off-camera, I guess. But in the next episode, I will get ready to build a Cyclops. Deep submersion, deep submergence vehicle. Because I believe they bought them out of, like, fucking 2,000 meters or something. Like, it can go much further than my Seamoth can. And I think the Prawn can go even further than the fucking Cyclops. So yeah, for now, that's really all I've got for you guys. But, uh, until next time, I will see all of you in the future.